Hey everyone, Eric Thompson here. Hope that you are doing well. Welcome back to the channel as we consider 2012 to 2013 uh, of my life, okay? Um, it is my birthday. It is July 30th, uh, which means I am 29 years old this year, okay? I was born at 10.45 p.m. on July 30th, 1984. That's good news for me. <laughs> I don't know if it's really good news for you, um, but it's a wonderful day, and sort of in recognition of this day and appreciation for all of your kind words, I thought I would, maybe it's self-seeking, I don't know, but a quick retrospective on what this last year has been like for me, and a lot has happened, and so with Vegas's help, and, and Vegas is going to do a lot of work in this video, hey, just deal with it. Uh, you know, we're going to go through July 2012 to July 2013, and so uh, if you have any coffee, you might want to get it ready um, because we have a lot to discuss. So here's my coffee and water, just in case, okay? Here we go. Let's start with July. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My Facebook is blowing up. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> I'm back. July 2012. Well, um, big things happened. I moved to Kentucky, um, and I started work at St. Francis and John in, uh, I think my first day was July 1, in fact, of, of uh, 2012. Um, a very new place, lots of new people. At that time, of course, Tori was still in Illinois, and so I was pining away for her. Uh, and wishing that she was here. Uh, it was during that time, I think on July 16th, it might have been, I wrote my very first piece of music at this location, and that's uh, a song we still sing today at Mass for all you folks who go to Mass at St. Francis and John, uh, the Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away. That's the, that's the song that we sing still, and so I wrote that uh, at the piano, like on Tuesday afternoon, and Melinda was uh, was there when I wrote it, so kind of a special connection for for her and between the two of us, a dear friend. Um, so here's a picture of me uh, kind of finishing it up at Lock and Key over a cup of coffee back when Lock and Key was still open and back when it was much much more grand. So July, uh, a lot of transition happening there. In August of 2012, um, I surprised Tori uh, and her family. They were at South Haven, Michigan. Okay. Uh, they go up there every year to have some little vacation time by uh, on the beach at Lake Michigan. And so I drove up um, just on a whim one day, left early and got there and surprised her. She was taking a nap and I, I woke her up and there we were. And so it was a lot of fun because we hadn't seen each other for I think a month or so. Since, since, since I moved to Kentucky, we hadn't seen each other. And so it was kind of a neat surprise and... Um, uh, just a lot of fun and some pictures from that here of playing. Pictures are just going to play continuously of these things. So I'm not going to always give Vegas the prompt. But he's, he's just going to, he knows what he's doing. So we're just going <laughs> to let it roll. Also in August, it's kind of fun. We had a Skype Monopoly date, um, which I lost. And I was very upset because I hate to lose. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, so she had her board and I had mine. And we were able to coordinate things. And once again, if you have the railroads, you just, you can't lose. In September of 2012, things were settling down at work quite a bit. I was getting into the grind and, and the, just kind of into the, yeah, yeah, just getting into the rhythm of things. Um, probably the coolest thing that happened that month was I asked my grandma, uh, Grandma Donna, if she would, uh, would let me have my grandpa's ring for my wedding ring. And she said yes, and, and here it is. And as you can see in this picture, uh, a little more close up, very special. And on the inside, uh, it was engraved. Um, June 6th, 1955, which is their wedding date. Um, and this is the ring that my grandpa wore in uh, his marriage to my grandma. When she passed away, I asked, I said, can I please have it? And very graciously, she, she let me have it. So I wear it with such pride um, and remembrance of him and their marriage. And so i got to go move on before I start crying. Uh, October, of course, fall is in full swing. And, and fall is amazing in Kentucky. I'm so excited for fall this year to get out of these warmer temperatures. Um, Tori and I went on an engagement retreat uh, to uh, Goldar, where was it? Oh, wherever it was. Uh, somewhere in Kentucky, and it was a good time. Um, and then when we got back that very night, we had over 
um, our sweet, sweet friends, Rebecca and Hannah, and we carve pumpkins, and you can see that here. We just had so, so much fun. And also in October, um, in the Catholic Church, we launched what, you know, globally the Year of Faith, uh, which, uh, which was instituted, you know, uh, by the Pope, uh, by Pope Benedict before his, uh, well, of course, he announced his retirement in July, uh, but he launched the Year of Faith. Very exciting. And, um, and so we had a festival of faith here, and I composed uh, the Divine Mercy Chaplet for that event. Uh, a beautiful setting, um, a very meditative, repetitive prayer. And you can hear that playing now in the video a little bit, give you a sense of that. Um, it was uh, at the bequest of Dan Elliott, a dear, dear friend in Christ, a good, strong brother. Uh, and so I was glad to put that together. And that was still a really neat uh, creative project. I, I composed it in that very room right behind me, in fact. So that was kind of neat. November, very much an in-between month, um, kind of like September, just sort of not a whole lot happening. Thanksgiving was great. Uh, it was one month to go for, uh, before the wedding, and so I, I posted this, this picture on Facebook, which was pretty popular, uh, of uh, Scrabble, which is just really important to Tori and I, something that we enjoy a lot of. Um, and there's the ring again, reappearing, so that's, that's kind of neat. In December, of course, as so many of you know, uh, Tori and I got married on December 15th. Um, a Saturday at the uh, Church of the Holy Apostles in McHenry, Illinois. So many pictures to show of that and uh, the little trip that we had to Chicago afterward and the time we had with lots of family and friends. It was an amazing, amazing four or five days. Just incredible. Um, and then we came back and almost immediately, you know, I was caught up in work because it was Christmas time and there was so much to do. Um, and also, uh, you know, we had a Christmas program. I don't think I have any pictures of that, but it was tremendous at church. We had a Christmas program on the 4th, or I think, or the 5th, whatever it was. The first Sunday of December was wonderful. It was the 7th. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then, of course, Christmas. And here's kind of a neat video. Let's just take a look at this real quick. I've never shown this to anyone. Uh, this is me and the, the our women's choir. This happened to be all women. Um, uh, playing for the prelude for the Christmas Eve Mass. Let's take a look at this real quick. Send the shepherd boy to the mighty king. Do you know what I know? 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 A child, a good. I, I think I did a pretty good job. That was a lot of fun. And the girls sounded so good. It just happened that no guys showed up. It was just all these all these girls. And that was a that was a really good time. Uh, New Year's, January 2013. Uh, January was dominated by our honeymoon. Two weeks spent on the West Coast. Um, in the, We flew into Seattle and then we had a couple of wonderful days there with uh, friends from my West Coast experience and from college. Michael, my dear friend, got to see him. It was so wonderful at Triple X, which is a burger place. Uh, and then we, we spent uh, two or three days on the Olympic Peninsula, went up to, to Forks, you know, where twilight is set in and all that stuff. And dramatic weather, two inches of rain each day we were there. But we stayed at these awesome, awesome cabins right on um, Lake Quinault. Maria, you know what I'm talking about. You know, like Lake Quinault. Uh, just amazing. Then Portland for a day and Voodoo Donuts and <laughs> Powell's Bookstore. There it is. There's a story in front of Powell's, the world's largest used bookstore with my sweet wife, the English major. She loved it so much. And then time with my family in Oregon. Uh, and then down to California for a few days in the Redwoods, you know, exploring and hiking and having time together in games. And then back up to North Bend again before heading back to Kentucky. And of course, it was during this time. Um, that uh, I'm only going to show for a split second. Oh, there it goes. That we <laughs> that we found that we were pregnant, and so well, Tori was pregnant, but we were definitely are experiencing it all together, and so we had to keep it a secret. Uh, we did until February 2013, in which we went and saw the doctor and confirmed that everything was as we suspected. That Tori was with a child. Um, so 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 excited. Uh, I guess, am I showing ultrasound pictures now, or am I waiting a little bit? Uh, oh, let's just show it now. There you go. There's, a, there's an ultrasound picture. Baby is very healthy. Uh, in February, right after we got back from our honeymoon, pretty much, we took a trip 
to St. Meinrad, uh, a, a monastery, Benedictine monastery, an abbey, arch abbey in Indiana for a, a, a marriage retreat, not having been married even, I think we were married like six or seven weeks. Um, and that was a lot of fun to be there with some young couples and some couples have been married for 65 years and to share in the sacrament of marriage and what it means to be married and to be uh, a Christian person, you know, in marriage, what it means to really show the love of Christ in marriage. Very encouraging, very empowering, kind of the best thing that we could do for ourselves. It was sort of near Valentine's too, and so that was sort of a fun part about it. And of course, in February, Lent began, and so Ash Wednesday, our first Lent together, approaching Lent as a couple and what that meant for us. March, Lent continued, um, and then I had another chance to do some more composing. I composed a setting of the Stations of the Cross. Um, I put prayers from the saints together with original music. And I think we also have a, a sound bite of that that will play uh, right now over the video. And so each Friday of Lent, we had a fish fry, Tom and Hannah and the Osbournes. I know you know who I'm talking about. We did that. And so we had Stations of the Cross followed by the Divine Mercy Chaplet, which I already played earlier on, which I'd written in October. And so, kind of a neat time for me creatively to get to try out some new ideas, some new music, and uh, of course I'm kind of getting ready to, not right now, but toward the end of the year I'm going to look at revising that for next year so we can use it again. Um, I didn't mention it in January, but uh, this year I've been doing the AFI Top 100 Film Review, a systematic review of the American Film Institute's Top 100 American Films of the Last 100 Years really kicking into gear in April, okay? Um, a lot happening along, of course, with uh, with Easter. Was it in April? Whatever it was. Um, but Easter and all those neat celebrations. Also in April, for our anniversary, our month anniversary, we took a trip to Illinois and um, just had a great time again with lots of friends. Got to see Scott, uh, my dear friend Scott. We ate these mega epic sandwiches. <laughs> and uh, saw Joe and John and so many people. Such quality, fantastic, wonderful fellowship time with a lot of folks there in Illinois, and that was so wonderful. In May, we went back to St. Meinrad for a vacation, not really a vacation. I was asked to play for the Diocese of Lexington uh, in their uh, convocation. All the priests in the diocese, pretty much all of them get together for a week to, uh, to pray and reflect and encourage each other and just have fellowship, and I went along to play music for the masses that they had. And so there I was, and uh, and it was during that trip that I decided to uh, to commit myself to the Mountain Man Diet, okay? Um, in the description below, I'll put a link to that video that I recorded while I was there. Um, but I want to show you something kind of special. Maybe you didn't see it, but this is a quick video of Bishop Ronald Gaynor blessing Tori and I. Uh, it was the first time that, to his knowledge, um, you know, they had done anything like this, a priest convocation, because normally it's just priests, you know, and maybe one or two lay people. Um, but I brought Tori along. I wanted her to have the experience with me. And so at the very end of the week, uh, Bishop Gaynor offered this super, super special blessing for us. And so let's look at that real quick. I just want to share it with you. Just, just a, a little uh, short part of it. God, author of all life, bless, we pray, this unborn child. Give constant protection and grant a healthy birth. That is the sign of our rebirth one day into the eternal rejoicing of heaven. Lord, who have brought to this woman the, the, the wondrous joy of motherhood, grant her comfort in all anxiety and make her determined to lead her child along the way of salvation. Lord of the ages who have singled out this man, to know the grace and pride of fatherhood, grant him courage in this new responsibility and make them an example of justice and truth for their child. Lord, endow this family with sincere and enduring love as they prepare to welcome this child into their midst. Lord, you have put into the hearts of all men and women of goodwill a great awe and wonder at the gift of new life. Fill them with faithfulness to the teaching of the gospel and a new resolve to share in the spiritual formation of this child in Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Wow. Uh, just a really special, special moment. And I'm so thankful to him 
um, to Father Norm Fisher, <laughs> my main man, Father Norm, who uh, recorded the video, and to all of those who were there to pray for us. It was so, so special. Wow, thank you, thank you. We're going to hold that in our hearts for a long time. My folks also came to visit in May. What a big, busy month. Uh, and that was so much fun to show them around and give them an experience of what Kentucky is like. And we went to breweries and we went to restaurants and local places and shopping and just toward, toward. They got to come to Mass and see me at work and spend time with the in-laws. And it was wonderful. It's wonderful, wonderful. June went to Tennessee uh, for, our, uh, for our anniversary. By the way, if I haven't mentioned this before, I give Tori a gift every month based on the number of months we've been married in correlation to the number, oh, how do I say it? <laughs> For our first anniversary, I gave her a gift that was in the theme of A, A being one, okay? So in June, we were at F for friend, A, B, C, D, E, F. So six, six months, the sixth letter of the alphabet is F. I should have said that. F for friend. So we went to Tennessee to see uh, Kayla Beth Moore, a dear friend of Tori. Um, I think we're I think we're pretty okay friends. We're new friends though, getting to know each other still, and um, had some time with her. Also had some really unfortunate uh, car trouble on the way there, and I'm not sure of this either really. But um, our car, my min my minivan that my parents gave to me a million years ago, uh, blew its transmission on the way there. By the way, Dad. The transmission had been replaced before in Ellensburg. I'm sorry, I forgot that. I found the paperwork, so you were right. Um, so second transmission on the van. We're not going to buy another one and go through all that. It's we bought a brand new car, and here I am with it. <laughs> 2013 Ford Escape. Very safe, very efficient. Um, smaller than I would like, but uh, but definitely going to do well for our family, for our blossoming little family. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, which brings us around, oh, and by the way, that Tennessee trip with uh, Kayla Beth was just fantastic. So wonderful to be in a new place and to get to see and experience new things. And so I really, really enjoyed that. Thank you, Kayla Beth, again for your incredible um, hospitality. Um, and then we, we get all the way back around to July 2013, this month. And among other things, the big thing we did this month was we took a trip um, up to, what's it called, to uh, South Haven. Back to where Tori was last year, where I surprised her, if you remember those pictures. Um, and we spent some time in uh, Dowagiac, Michigan, with Tori's grandparents. And then we shot over to South Haven to spend uh, some time with, uh, again, more of Tori's family. A wonderful time. Here are some pictures. Uh, uh, let's, let's one more video before we're done. Let's watch a video real quick of uh, me around a campfire. And I'm sort of just rattling off some songs. Just a real quick, quick little video. Let, let's take a look. <laughs> Man, if you never saw an eagle fly, Rocky Mountain High, in Colorado, Rocky Mountain High. Let my people go. Yep. Which one is it? Prince of Egypt. Yes, Prince of Egypt. I watched that in when I was student teaching in that seventh grade class. I don't know why they watched it. There you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. So just some fun stuff around the campfire. I love that little guitar. It's been with me on so many adventures. Um, and so here we are. You know, at the very, very end of July. And that's a quick glance at what's happened in this last year for me. Of course, there's so much more to say and so many more things and people to mention. Um, I've met so many new friends in the last year, made so many new friends in this community here in Georgetown. Um, I want to especially mention uh, the people I work with, Father Lynn, uh, Maggie, Terry, Matthew, uh, Michelle, Paul, uh, so many people at uh, St. Francis and John that have become another family to me. And that's what we want to see in these church communities, you know, a true sense of family, spirit of community. Um, that's not to say that there is difficult times, too, to work with other people. You know, we're in, the, we're in the politics of people in the church, you know, and people are people. And so um, it's not always the best, but I do love it. I, I remain in love with it, much to my pleasure. God has me right where he wants me, and I believe that he 
has Tori and I right where he wants us to, uh, baby included. And so we're so excited for what's coming up. Um, I wanted to thank you for stopping and watching this video. I think a lot of people are going to swing by my Facebook page and wish me a happy birthday. Maybe you got a chance to watch this too, um, just to celebrate with me all that God has done and is doing in my life, and I hope in yours too. And just as a thank you, a way, a way to, I'm going to say thank you individually to all those people who stop by and say happy birthday. I really appreciate it. Um, but if you allow me just to say just a quick prayer and a blessing for all of you, uh, I, I'd surely appreciate it. Just as a thank you for your kindness and also for all the support that I've received personally over this past year. So much um, generosity and kindness and charity has been expressed to me, especially as I've been in this new place. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking of, uh, of Mary Lou and Susan Craft and Pat Mudd and, and all the dear friends that have opened up their hearts and homes to me. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and just quickly, in the name of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, I give you thanks and praise for all of these folks today who have come out to watch this silly little video, um, but to join me in reflecting on your goodness to me over this past year. And dear God, I simply pray, and most humbly, that you would extend your blessings upon them, that you would shower them with your peace and with your mercy, that you would put in them, Lord, your perfect and amazing grace, and that they would know your love for their lives. Lord, may you fill them with peace and with hope, with the joy of the resurrection, and with the, the true spirit, the true love of what it means to live for God, to live for Jesus Christ every day, to live out the good news in this world. And may we all, Lord, serve you in peace and humility all the days of our lives, bringing other people to know you, and so bringing other people into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, friends, so much. Wow. Uh, I'm sure hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it, and I think it's going to turn out really well with all the, the flim flams and jim jams and all that stuff. <laughs> Sorry for it being so long, but you know what? Uh, it's not easy to sum up a year of life. And so, hey, do one of these yourself. I want to see your uh, retrospective on your birthday, okay? And tomorrow, Jenna, happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. By the way, as always, i got to say it. Like and subscribe if you care to. And thank you truly, truly for watching. Happy birthday to me, and may God bless you. Thanks, guys.